we have noted with surprise the unnecessary hue and cry raised by the All Progressive Congress and other bigoted critics of the Jonathan administration over the claim that the President is obnobbing with the former Governor of Barano State, Senator Alimodu Sharif, who was recently accused by the Australian Stephen Davis of being one of the chief sponsors of the terrorist organization Boko Haram. The totally erroneous basis for that charge was a spurious claim that Senator Sharif accompanied President Jonathan on his recent trip to N'Djamena as a member of his entourage. Although Senator Sharif himself has already given the lie to that claim through his media advisor, the presidency wishes to affirm for the purpose of emphasis that the former Bonu state governor was not on President Jonathan's delegation to Chad. In keeping with President Jonathan's commitment to transparency and openness in the conduct of government business, names of the key members of his delegation were announced a day before his trip to Injamena. For the purpose of emphasis and to uh, remind all of us once again, they included the National Security Advisor, Konesambo Dasuki, retired, the Minister of Communications Technology, Mrs. Omobola Johnson, the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, Dr. Nuruddin Mohammed, and the Director General of the National Space Research and Development Agency, Professor Seidu Mohammed. As can be easily verified from the complete list of members of the presidential entourage to Chad, which was also circulated on Sunday and which never changed, Senator Sherry's name was not on that list. The only other persons on the list were the President's aides, security personnel, and journalists. The APC and others who rushed to condemn President Jonathan for a non-existent indiscretion will have found if they took the least trouble to double-check that there was absolutely no factual basis for their accusation. Those who associate with Senator Sharif know that he has long-standing interest in Chad and often spends a lot of time in that country. He happened to be in Injamena at the time of President Jonathan's visit, and what happened was that he joined other Nigerian residents of the Chadian capital in coming to the airport to welcome their president. That was the full extent of his participation in the visit. And it was also at the Njamena International Airport that the pictures which formed the basis of the bogus allegation of President Jonathan hobnobbing with an accused sponsor of terrorism were taken. The former governor's presence in Chad was certainly not at President Jonathan's instance, and he did not participate in any of the president's discussions with President Idris Deby Itno or his other engagements in Injamena. President Jonathan is fully aware of the allegation made against Senator Sharif by Stephen Davis. That allegation is already being investigated by the security agencies who will make their findings known to the public in due course. The President would like to assure all Nigerians that he has not willfully taken any action that could prejudice the outcome of that ongoing inquiry. He seizes this opportunity to reassure all Nigerians once again of his total commitment to doing all within his powers to bring all identified and verified sponsors of terrorism to justice and ending the menace of violent extremism in the country.